Happy 10th episode, Coles! I'm your host, Justin. And I'm your host, Jana. We're happy to give you our 10th episode of Season 2 of Culture TV. These are your morning announcements for... Friday, October 25th, 2019. Wow, Jana. Didn't homecoming go by really fast? Yes, it did. And every class did a great job on their day and pulling through the busy week. Let's give a round of applause to all of our classes. What happened last week during Homecoming Colts? Roll the clip! Congrats to the senior class for winning homecoming this year. Hey Colts, tomorrow our very own band will be hosting a car wash from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. In, in the parking lot. Damn, my car is dirty. Did you say your car is dirty? Yeah, it Whoa. is. The El Camino Music Department is holding a car wash this Saturday, October 26th, right here in the parking lot. Each car will be $10. Hope to see you there. Please bring your dirty cars to get washed and clean and support our El Camino's band. Hey seniors, are you interested in hearing about Cal State, East Bay, San Francisco State, Dominican University, or Skyline? Please see Ms. D. Locker in the Career Center to sign up for information sessions coming up. Attention Colts, we will be having our very first annual Day of the Dead celebration next Wednesday, October 30th in the Little Theater. This will be a super exciting event put on by El Camino's Ballet Folklorico Dance Club. Let's take a quick look at who's involved. Roll the clip! Tickets for Day of the Dead will be sold at lunch, pre-sale for $5, and at the door for $7. Please come and experience this fun performance. Hey Colts, Halloween is coming up. We hope you are all getting your costumes ready. Let's make sure we know the rules of what to wear on this holiday. Now let's check in with our Culture TV correspondents and see what information they have for us. Hey guys, 
Ryan Chang here. So pretty soon it's gonna be Halloween, right? That's pretty important. Shows a lot of pride about your school. So show up in costume. Now we gotta go over some rules and regulations about Halloween because as you know, we have quite a bit of rules at our school. First off, no overly skimpy outfits. No tummy, no thigh, those sort of things. Let's be obvious about that, right? No weapons. They don't want any breach of protocol. So be safe. Don't bring any toy guns or any toy swords. Be smart about it. And then finally, if you bring a mask, do not wear it while transitioning from period to period. There is a little bit of a safety concern as of recent. So if you're gonna wear it, please make sure your teacher is okay with it while you're in class. Otherwise, between periods, take it off. Now, we have some examples of Halloween costumes that are acceptable and also um, some advice on if you're unable to find a costume. So let's go take a look, all right? So we're here up on the red stage and we got some nice volunteers here to represent their costumes a little bit early. Here are some examples. Uh, right here we got Colin. He's an IRS spokesperson. He did a really good job. I think he shows the epitome of what our social system really needs. Uh, over here we got the uh, that big marshmallow guy from Ghostbusters. I think it's a fantastic costume. Well done. Over here we got a Chick-fil-A reject number one. Uh, fantastic work. I love the chicken head and the varsity jacket. It just really epitomizes what a chicken sandwich should be. We got a Chihuahua over here. A fantastic job. Love it. Nice onesie. And then we got a Bruno, uh, Bruno Pontes ripoff over here. Did a really good job. I'm really proud of everyone here. Um, if, you ever, if you ever have difficulty with your costumes, just be sure to ask around and just have fun with Halloween Colts. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Attention Lady Colts. Girls soccer conditioning is happening right now. On Tuesday and Thursdays on the blacktop outside near the basketball courts from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Tryouts for the girls' soccer team will be on Monday, November 4th through Thursday, November 7th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. on Colt Field. Please make sure your physicals are in the system before tryouts. Now let's take a look at a special night for senior volleyball players. Roll the clip. We want to congratulate the girls varsity volleyball team for winning their league last Tuesday. They are 15-0, which is unbelievable, and setting records. Speaking of sports, El Camino's girls golf players have finished their season. Let's take a look at what our Culture TV correspondents found out about girls golf. Hi, I'm Danae Saucedo. I'm a junior and I've been playing golf for this year actually, for two to three months I think. Uh, my favorite part was to actually learn how to play because I've never played before. Hi, I'm Rochelle Perez. I'm a sophomore and this is my first year playing too. And my favorite part of the season is getting to know the team. They're very funny, supportive, and they happen to all be juniors so they give me advice. Hey Colts, do you identify to be an Af of African American descent? Then you should plan on attending the Discover ASTEP African American Success Through Excellence and Persistence Conference where you'll have an opportunity to attend workshops, interact with other African American college students, and hear from a panel of industry professionals about future career options. This is really cool. This is a really cool opportunity. And please see Ms. Die Locker in the Career Center, D Locker in the Career Center to sign up. Guess what, Justin? What, Jenna? It's that time of the week again. Let's see who our staff of the week is. And the staff of the week is... Mr. Pine! Boom, 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 boom! Congratulations, Mr. Pine. You are very chill. You are a very helpful teacher because you care for our grade and you want us to stay caught up with our, all our homework and all that. And you stay on that trend and you stay on that grind. Boom! Congratulations, Mr. Pine, and thanks for all the help. Congratulations, Mr. Pine. I just want to say I admire you and I appreciate you for truly making an effort to understand and get to know your students. I think you're one of the most dope teachers at Elko and 
congratulations again. Congratulations, Mr. Pine. You're one of the best teachers ever. I love learning about the body and drugs, and thank you for thank you for helping us and with everything. And thank you for giving me the bandanas. Such a good teacher, the goat himself. Congrats, Mr. Pine. You honestly deserve it. You actually show that you care for each and every student. Um, you're very awesome. You're very calm and relaxing, and honestly, overall, welcoming. So, thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Pines. Congratulations, Mr. Pines. Now please stand up and join us for the pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's next week's schedule. Monday is a Block A day. Tuesday is a Block B day. Wednesday is a Block A day with no early release. Thursday is a Block B day. Happy Halloween. And Friday, there's no school cults. That's all we have for you this week, cults. Goodbye, y'all!